Hi guys and welcome back to the Black Gold Homestead. I have a really quick video for you guys today. Um, we're going to pull these doors shut if you want to go ahead and go in the shed. You want it to be nice and dark in here. And I don't know how it's coming up on camera. It's coming up okay. But what we're doing is candling. And we have some Saramas here on the homestead. They're, a, they're the smallest breed of chicken. They're bantam. And these eggs have been underneath of the doves since the 31st. So we're going to check the progress. And... Um, there's a lot of different lights you can use for this, but you generally want to use a really bright white light. Um, this is an LED light. And if we look here, you can see some veins. I don't know how well that's turning up on camera. And then you can see a really dark spot. That's the chick, but you can see the veins forming. So this egg is fertilized, and we can put it back under the dove. And Saramas only take about... 18 to 19 days to hatch and um, we'll check this egg see what it's probably developing nope this one is not see this egg is clear no veins forming completely clear egg so this one's not fertilized we can go ahead and pitch this one at this point because it's no use keeping it under the hen and taking up space if it's not going to hatch also, it could break and cause problems with the other eggs. Once again, here's a look at the fertilized egg. You can see it's darker and veins are forming in it. Okay, so I will put this back under the hen now, the dove. So, um, also here on the homestead, we have some stuff going on. Um, besides that Sarama egg that will be hatching, we also have baby goats that will be due here shortly. We have baby goats. Um, our goat Magnolia is due this month. So, we will be getting babies from her soon, hopefully. And I also wanted to do a quick shout out. I want to say thank you to Highland Homestead for the shout out that we got. And, um, I also wanted to say, um, if you guys like watching animal videos and you like watching baby goats and um, animal live streams and stuff, the 10 Acre Woods is an animal rescue and they are doing a baby goat live stream right now for their um, three goats that are um, having kids. I think two already had kids and one more is on the way. So if you guys want to check those out, that would be nice. Okay guys, right. so um, as I showed you earlier in the video, um, the Sarama egg, um, the Saramas are the world's smallest bantam, as I, as I mentioned, and um, they lay these really tiny little eggs. Here's their eggs. And um, I will show you my Saramas here. I just have a couple, but I do um, plan on, as I do plan on raising these. So here's um, an all-white Sarama hen. As you can see, they're very small chickens. Um, she's all white. Um, so I have her and I have another all white one. This one may have some Japanese in her, some Japanese bantam, but um, I think she's definitely more so Sarama. And we also have this one. This one is a um, mostly white and she, they are going through molt now because I had them 
in the barn under a lamp. So they're kind of mixed up on what type of season it is. But she has some black on her. So she's a pretty little Sarama hen. And then I have a Sarama rooster. And he is, um, I believe he's a silk rooster. So that's basically like a silky chicken. If you've ever seen. And I'll see if he's a little more feisty. I'll see if I can show him to you. And he is also molting, but he is, like I said, I believe a silk rooster. So here he is, and you can see his feathers are more downy looking. And, um, but that may be in part due to the fact that he is molting. But, um, he's a good little rooster. But, like I said, he is molting. So he doesn't look the best right now, but he will look better. Back in you go. So those are the Sarama Bantams. And they are all doing well. And there's one other thing I want to show you guys. All right, let me get her out. All right, guys, so this is the last thing I want to show you today. And I believe we featured this in our last video with the rabbits where we showed you um, a quick segment of us grooming the um, lionhead rabbit. But this here is a horse grooming block. And you can get them at different farm stores. And I'll let you get a close-up of it. Horse grooming block. And this is our mini Rex Rabbit Sassy. And we also have um, a Rex Buck and we have a Velveteen Lop. And all three of those breeds, mini Rex, um, well, Rex and Velveteen Lop, they're all characterized by this real short, dense fur. If you can see, they have short, dense fur. And um, they are starting to molt or shed now. So this works really good for grooming them. So what I just do is I just go along and I just brush it out and you can see the fur starting to come off already. And um, like I said, this works better than any brush I've ever used. And um, it works really good for getting the um, hair out of, especially the Rex rabbits and rabbits with Rex type coats like the Velveteen Lop and the Castor Rex. Um, it works really well for that, and, um, it, um, and it really gets the fur out. So it's great to use, um, whenever they're shedding, just to help get the fur out and help them stay cooler and looking their best. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and, um, I wanted to thank you for watching. Have a great day.